On this week's episode of the God Bolt Life podcast, I can't honor the season that I'm in if I'm looking at the next season because I'm not there, I'm here. Mm -hmm. So that would show up in so many things to where I wouldn't have been able to heal the way that I'm healed today at all had it not been for me being present. I didn't even realize what that was doing for me with our children. So like not being able to have that with my oldest daughter because um, I was 19 and me and her mom lived in separate places and that was just a whole thing. Then I would move from New York to Texas, from Texas to Oregon, Oregon to Texas. So it's like, I never had that time to fully be present. Even when I was with her, I always felt like I'm still trying to establish myself and see what's next and school and working through jobs. There was always some, where I'm going to stay, how I'm going to deal with the abuse. There was always something that was distracting me both good and bad from being present with her that I didn't get to establish and instill the things I get to do and the other children because of not being present. I was trying to bring just the world period Mm -hmm. into what God was asking me to do. Yeah. And that was why I was always thinking that nothing that I was doing was enough because of what I was measuring it up against. That was not God's measurement. Yeah, that's so so, that's so true, because we literally will measure God things against world things. They don't compare. They don't. They cannot compete. Yeah. And people in the world won't understand. Yeah. If you're looking to them, that's why it's so important to have righteous community. Yeah. Because if you're looking to people that are in the world they're only going to have to give to you what they're experiencing yeah. and it hit me right after we talked the reason why I was feeling that frustration and that friction was because I was trying to do my will and his will at the same time mm. and you can't so the only way that you get tension if you have like resistance bands is because two things are going in the opposite direction yep. which creates tension Yep. So to release the tension, that means you have to let go of something. Mm-hmm. He's given us the choice to, he loves us so much that he gave us the choice to let him go. No one knows the me that I was at Nike better than me. And I know that if I was still there, I wouldn't have been able to have that lesson. Because everything I was doing, everything that I thought I was doing, even in the selfishness, was for everybody else. Mm. Like, I really thought that. Because you're busting your butt at work and you are trying to do all the things, trying to get all the new iPhones that come out and do all the trips every year and go to everybody's thing and do all the things that the idea of getting married to somebody feels like, eh, that's a bit much. It's like, you know, and you under somehow we innately understand the weight of those types of decisions. So we see the weight and we're like, yeah, I, I, I'm not ready. How many times do you hear people say, I'm not ready for that yet? Mm-hmm. I'm not. When that's actually the very thing that will that we unlock. Need, yeah, that gives that, that like. Marriage, marriage was created in Eden. Kids were created in Eden. So we're talking about marriage, our companionship, and everything that comes with that, and then parenthood. But those are the two things that we say, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Watch the full episode now at youtube.com slash Jade Godbolt.